I think we need to address the ocean issues to a broader audience and just the and just the environmental classic suspects. We need to move outside our own silos and trying to get stakeholders involved that are not for the obvious reasons would pay attention to the ocean affairs, such as investors, entrepreneurs, business, but also within different ministers like the fishery, the trade, the foreign policies, the transport. Ocean affairs is really related to so many different areas, political areas. And I think one of the really core issues that we addressed here was also the, the leadership. The leadership from government, but also working collaboration with business, NGOs, media, and also to, to work towards implementation. Implementation for all the technologies and solutions that we have, but also make them practice, make that actually work in reality. And I think together with different actors, we can achieve that. Well, it's a real pleasure to be at the House of Sweden to talk about the economics of the ocean. And one of the things that was probably the most important thing that I've heard over the course of the last day is the power of partnership. And this is where the World Bank sees as a real way for us to change the way that we normally do business and engage in public, private, civil society tight partnerships to really pair cutting edge knowledge as well as investment to support developing countries in their demands for healthier oceans. Oceans are incredibly important. They matter for economies, they matter for communities, they matter for community safety, uh, and of course there's a rich, rich biodiversity. One of the challenges with oceans is of course so much of that is invisible. It's under the sea, oyster reefs, coral reefs, and so on. And that's what presents challenges in trying to protect them and sustain that incredible economic and environmental wealth. We know that there are a lot of people out there with very creative ideas and we are hoping that this will bring together that community and also the leaders from around the world who together can add some momentum to addressing the very serious challenges that we face in terms of looking at the world's oceans today. As a big shipping company, of course we use the oceans every day. But we have realized more and more that we need to be more careful when running our ships on the sea. That's why we're looking for new fuels and new types of behavior, operational behavior, and we must improve our business. This conference has been fantastic and inspirational to give me inspiration of how we should change uh, to get a better shipping sector. There are many initiatives going on, and I'm sure that in the end this will be very good. So the oceans are absolutely vital. They are the blue heart of the planet. They produce more than 50% of the oxygen that we breathe. They feed uh, over 16% of the global population. 90% of commerce move, moves by ship. About 200 million people work in the fishing industry. In a tiny little drop of water on your finger, a little drop of ocean water, are thousands of microbes. And those thousands of microbes provide system systems management, the ocean controls our weather, uh, our rainfall, uh, the ocean sequesters carbon. But over and above all of those things, it's important because we need the ocean and if the ocean isn't healthy and we don't have the fish and the uh, predators that live there, then there's no definitive science but it's not good. So we need to connect to our oceans, we need to love our oceans and we need to participate and have a voice in what happens to them.